Burdock, what is it? What are the health benefits? How do I use it? Stick around to the end of the video where I will ask and answer a bonus question. Hi, it's Robert Davis with your electric plug. Your connection inside the alkaline electric lifestyle. Inspired by Dr. Sebi, we're here to help you make better choices for a healthier you. First, to extend thanks to the creator and also thank you for visiting the channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you can be alerted each and every time we upload a new video. This is a good one, y'all. Are you ready? Good. Now let's get plugged in. First, what is burdock? Burdock comes from the same family as lettuce, daisy, sunflower, dandelion, and marigold, which is also known as calendula. Be on the lookout for our videos on dandelion and marigold. Both of those are also sevian herbs with great health benefits. Commonly found throughout the United States and characterized by its large heart-shaped leaves and long stalks, burdock can grow to be anywhere from 2 feet to 9 feet long. And for my gardeners out there, it grows easily when planted in the spring. The purple flowers are in bloom from summer to early fall in the second year. Pro tip, if you're interested in harvesting the roots, it's best to plant in loose soil with a nice mixture of sand, sawdust, or wood chips in it. Harvest the roots in the fall of the first year when the leaves are large and green on the top with gray undersides. What are the health benefits of burdock? Burdock is highly regarded and used by many in the Sevian community because of its high iron content. Burdock is said to contain iron fluorine, which is easily assimilated into the body. It contains all 102 of the minerals the body needs in order to function. It is also one of the ingredients in Dr. Sebi's BioFerro. Burdock is a great diuretic. Through its diuretic qualities, it benefits the body in many other ways. Of course, we all know how important it is that we consume enough water. If not, be on the lookout for our video on water. On its journey through the bodies, it seems that burdock impacts everything it touches. Burdock is known as a great blood purifier. It has been used as a cough suppressant to treat throat infections, cold, flu, even pneumonia. For centuries, Europeans have used it for fever and another, a number of other ailments. Burdock increases circulation to the skin, promoting perspiration, and also eliminating toxins through the skin. Research shows that burdock has antifungal, antibacterial, anti-cancer, and antioxidant qualities. It has even been used to treat gout. Burdock improves digestive health. There are studies that show that burdock inhibits the growth of Candida albicans, which is the fungus that causes yeast infections. Burdock has been prescribed for kidney problems and urinary tract infections. It has even been used to treat STDs. Burdock can be used on the skin in a number of different ways and does almost as much for your outsides as it does for your insides. Burdock promotes hair growth and improves scalp condition. It protects hair from UV radiation. It has also been used to treat skin conditions such as eczema, dandruff, acne, even ringworms. Burdock can also reduce swelling from allergic hives. How do I use burdock? Roots, leaves, and seeds can all be used. Burdock is often used to make tea. Burdock can be used for tincture making. In Japan, you will find burdock in soups, stews, stir fries, and even pickled. I've even heard of burdock fries. Personally, I take a total of 2,000 milligrams of burdock powder daily in capsule form. There's also a recipe called Kenpira Gobo that I would like to make an alkaline version of. Maybe in a future video. Where do I buy burdock? Fresh burdock root can be found in many Asian markets under the name Gobo. 
and is typically sold by the pound, although you can sometimes find long pieces sold by the each. If you're looking for dried leaves or roots, either cut or powdered, those are typically found at herb shops. Seeds can sometimes be found at herb shops, but more often you'll find them at a gardening or a seed shop. I'm not a doctor, so just as a reminder, as with all supplements, it is recommended that you seek the guidance of a health professional before adding burdock to your diet. Let me know how much of this was new to you or how you use burdock. Don't forget to take a look at our other videos linked here. Be on the lookout for more videos on herbs, cooking, and other lifestyle tips from your electric plug. Thanks again for joining us, and as always, I'll see you in the comments.